Hello everybody, we're here from Fine Peruvian Pastries. We're going to make a little bit of a bun, cream cheese buns. My mom has been trying this recipe for I don't know how many days and uh, she suggested for me to do it. So here's our cream cheese. Here we have uh, about 100, 150 ml of water, warm water, and um, some yeast. Okay, it does call for five grams, but I just put the entire envelope, it has seven grams. So that won't hurt. Alrighty, we're gonna do it by hand. We're going to do it just with the touch of a wooden spoon. I'm not gonna use um, a mixer this time. I want to give it a try without the mixer. Now, we're going to, we have um, put our yeast, water. Now we're going to Put our one egg. We're gonna beat it up a little bit. Okay. Into our bowl. And um, let's see. It asks for our cream cheese. We have 50 grams of cream cheese. One quarter cup. All right. Can you see? Okay. There we go. Now, Let's see. Let's see what else do we have here. 300 grams of flour. You can use bread flour or all purpose. Okay, oops. Let's get this started. My, my scale. Let's see. 300 grams. Okay. See that? No. All right. That's our. Oops. We went a little bit over, but that's not going to hurt. Okay. 312, that's just fine. Um, 30 grams of caster sugar. We put our scale on zero. Oops. Don't go anywhere. Oops, come on. What did I say? 30? 30. Okay. 30. That's right. One. Two and a half grams of salt. I'll say... Sea salt, three grams, oops, four grams, much as you want at this point, yeah. So we mixed all in, that's it. This is gonna be all mixed in like so. 
and making sure all the ingredients get integrated. Okay. We're gonna let this rest for about an hour. And um, making sure we get all of the little bits around the walls of the ball. Okay, mama. I'm gonna show you, this is the way you do it. Okay. Para mi mama, que está viendo. <laughs> Vamos a mostrar que esto se puede hacer sin batidora, a mano. Ok. Vamos a dejar reposando por una hora. Ok, ya están todos los ingredientes integrados. Que no haya nada de harina. Ok, all the ingredients are mixed in. We don't see any flour. Uh, I see a little bit of um, the cheese still somewhat in there. So for this would have had to be very soft cream cheese. So just leave it out of the fridge for a few minutes, like maybe half an hour before you start making the bread. That way it is soft, soft to the touch and you're able to make this. Uh, mix without dealing with a block of cheese, hard cheese, you know. Anyway, this is this is all we need for now. We're gonna let it rest, like I said, for about one hour, one hour, one hour and a half. We're gonna cover it with film. Okay. And we'll be back. We'll show you how it looks in about an hour. All right. See you in a little bit. All right. We are back. We. It's been an hour since we last saw you. This is our dough now. It has about double it in size. Now from here I'm going to make um, the, the bowl for the, for the bread. I'm going to use some coconut, coconut uh, oil in my hands. Okay, you can use anything you want if you have uh, oil it's okay to use as well okay there we go. so we can handle the the dough we make sure we get the gas out of the dough we're going to make uh, about 12 12 balls hopefully even okay no, it doesn't look as pretty, but look, we're going to make it look pretty now. I'm sorry, that's our fire alarm. Putting some coconut oil on our board here. That way we can rest our, our dough and don't have to worry about it sticking to the to the board okay there we go let's see how big is it sixteen <laughs> no about 40 gram ball, okay? <laughs> We're 
we're going to come back and roll them again. Okay. It is a little bit sticky. I guess you could put a little bit of flour in your hands. And that's a way not to make it so sticky. Okay. But I'm not going I'm going to avoid adding flour. So that's it. get about nine nine to twelve rolls I'll say nine to twelve or so okay Let's see. this is how you make it smooth on the top see there we go I will have to get some some flour at this point. I think it's way stickier than I anticipated. So we're gonna have to go get the flour. <laughs> Otherwise it is sticking all over. All right, that's it. All right, we're gonna come back. Can you see it? Right there, right there. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, we are back. We are using a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick to our hands. The dough doesn't stick to our hands, but that's all it is, okay? Um, we did cut them into smaller balls and this is how we do it okay more if you know how to bowl you can bowl <laughs> I don't know how to bowl so this is what I how I do it okay make them look pretty but at this point it really doesn't matter if they don't look pretty because they're going to we're going to handle them again we're going to dress them or proof them and then we're gonna handle them again okay out of here okay there we go all right that is 12 12 bolitas we got 
We're going to give some to that one and some to this one. Okay. All right. Just a little bit dusty flour. I'm going to cover this with a film. Actually, I'm just going to use the paper from our pan. We have our baking sheet, the baking sheet we're going to use. And um, actually, I'm just going to put it over. No, that's not going to let them grow. But um, I'm going to cover them with a cloth. Okay. Whichever one you have. There you go. And we're going to let them proof for another half hour, 45 minutes, for half hour. Should be enough. We'll be back. All right, we are back. It's been a little bit over half hour. We're going to check on our bread. All right, it is, it is well rested. Uh, 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 uh. All right, we're going to handle it one more time, one last time. I'm going to put this paper on our baking sheet. Because we're going to use the same thing in order to bake it. Okay, I'm just going to flour my hands like so, slightly. Okay, and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to, oops, <laughs> let's see. And then we handle it out of the pan. We Bring it all in and make them look pretty again. And we're going to put them on our baking sheet, ready to go. Okay. my spatula when I need it. Okay. We're gonna punch all the air out again. Basically that's what we're doing. Okay. And bring it all in. And pretty it looks. Okay. One more time. I'm just gonna put one of these on the scale. I want to see for sure how much they how how much they weigh. Let's see. Oh, it's about sixty grams. Sixty grams. Okay, like so. There we go. Pretty it is. Okay. And we go stress. Cream cheese buns. These are cream cheese buns a la Veronique. Alright. Don't forget to follow us on Fine Peruvian Pastries uh, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. <laughs> All right, 
more flour on my fingers. Un, dos, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Okay. And we're going to make it pretty. Because this time they're going to rest another 15 minutes. Just the time that our oven takes to reach the temperature at 350 or 180. Okay. And they should look just fine. Okay. Come on, little doughy doughy. It's looking pretty we're gonna finish up and then we'll be back all right here we have it we are finished with bowling <laughs> bowling <laughs> bowling our bread and um, again it was a little bit stickier than anticipated but it's good it's all good now you can make them as perfect as you want or as and perfect as you want now the um, they'll be in the oven about 12 to 15 minutes we're gonna cover them let them rest a little bit before we put them in the oven all right we're gonna cover them again with a clean cloth we'll see you in about 15 minutes all right we are back 15 minutes have gone by, my bread has grown a little bit and um, we are going to flour dust it a little bit on the top, just like so, oops, just a little bit, uh, okay, this, okay, all right, now 10, I mean 12 to 15 minutes in the oven at 350 okay follow me all right we're gonna put it in the oven in the middle rack like so at 350 all right <laughs> 350 or 180 Celsius 12 minutes we'll check and we'll come back all right our time is up, it's been tw uh, 13 minutes and we're going to turn our pan on and get our glove on and we're going to, yes, our glove <laughs> and voila! Cream cheese. <laughs> I can use this. <laughs> Cream cheese buns. If I can get them out of the oven, that would be grand. Voila! Delicioso. I hope you give this recipe a try. All right, we are going to wait until they cool off a little bit and um, we'll be right back so we can sample them, all right? All right, here we are. We're going to sample one of our breads. I'm gonna take some of that flour off. Look, delicioso. All right, mother, this is how you do it. All right, these are your cream cheese buns. I'm gonna get a little butter. Just a little bit of Kerrygold to go with it. Nothing else? All right. And 
we're gonna sample this baby we are going to oh just a little bit of bobby bobby on your bun all right Delicioso. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Excellent. Mmm. Cream cheese buns. It's a little bit like dinner roll, just with that cream cheese flavor. <laughs> They're excellent. I hope you tried. Once again, they are delicious. Please don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Quédate en casa, que yo me quedo en casa. Goodbye.